Welcome to the demonstration of Karma, our tool to map data to the Linked Data Cloud. I'm going to show you how to map data from the Smithsonian American Art Museum to the European Ontology. So let me start by loading sample data from the Smithsonian database. I'm going to load the CSV file, uh, so I import it. So before I map the data, I'm going to do some transformations to define URIs. Uh, so for country, I really want each country to have its own URI. So I'm going to provide an example of the kind of URI that I want. Uh, for instance, place this United underscore states. Uh, it didn't transform France correctly, so let me fix that. Provide another example here. Uh, click OK. Now Russia is not transformed correctly, so I provide another example. And now all of them are transformed correctly, even Guatemala and Peru and so on, so I click Submit. So now let me transform these places. Uh, so here, what I want to do is transform the places into the name of a property in the elements GR2 ontology. So elements GR2 colon, and it's called the property is called place of birth. Uh, so I do that and then place of death and so on is transformed correctly. So I click submit and now I am ready to start mapping the data to the ontology. So I do that by saying show model. Uh, my model is currently empty so let me start with the people. So Karma learns from previous data sets that I modeled and it's suggesting that uh, constituent ID should be constituent ID of a person. Uh, this is correct. I'm going to mark it as key for the class so that those numbers are used to construct URIs. If I don't do this, I get blank notes. So let me now do city. Uh, Karma suggests that uh, this is the locality of a postal address. Uh, this is correct, so I'm going to click yes and click submit. So the postal address is not associated with person, so I'm going to click on postal address uh, and say that uh, it is really associated with uh, the place a place which is in our ontology so I click submit and it is the address of that place uh, which is a schema.org uh, schema.org property so it's here so it's the address and click submit let me fast forward the modeling of the next columns And finally, uh, I want to say that I don't really want the person to have always uh, an associated place, but uh, that it should be the place of birth and so on, depending on what I have here. So I am going to again use the advanced options and say that this is really uh, a specialization of associated place. So I click this, submit, and then I have my model that says that uh, if the cell here is not empty, I should use the property I put here instead of associated place. So now I can uh, publish my RDF. I can also publish the model and then use it later in batch mode. So I am going to click here and the model is published and I can look at it here, but I'll show you a pretty printed version so that you can see what it looks like. So 
here is the R2RML spec uh, with all the triple maps and all the standard things that uh, you need to have in an R2RML model. The nice thing is I didn't have to write this by hand, uh, but Karma wrote it for me. After mapping all the tables, the next step is to link the data to a source like DBpedia. So we did this offline and here is our interface to verify the links. There are many pages of links uh, and the Smithsonian people verified all of them. Let me look at uh, page 4 of the names that start with, with A where things get a little bit more interesting. So for example here is Adal Maldonado. Uh, his names don't match, but uh, you know it was verified by uh, a human that uh, it is indeed a match. And the way they did that is that they could click here to go to Wikipedia and read about what it says in Wikipedia and also go to the Smithsonian American Art Museum page and you know, see what it says there. And then what they did is they just came here, clicked match, put a comment, and it got recorded. The Smithsonian personnel verified about 2,800 matches, and then when they were done, we can click here to download the verified matches, the same as links. Once we're done with the linking step and we load all the data into the triple store, we can go look at it. So here's the page for John Singer Sargent in our modified version of Puppy. So we, show, we crawl to fetch the labels uh, of uh, the object properties. And if there are images, then we, con we can also see them right there on the page for John Singer Sargent. This is in contrast uh, to the default DBpedia page where you know we would just show the URIs of the places and for the objects uh, you know here they are but uh, you know we actually have to go click to see the images and so on so we think our version is of uh, nicer to look at thank you for your attention please visit us in our webpage and download karma and try it on your data